now I got a little sticky situation. What are you doing here, guys? <laughs> this was not meant for you. <laughs> so I put some oil and trying to get them out. Oh, this one's almost out, actually. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Mm. This one is in all the way, so that's going to take a little more time, but I'm sure you'll be okay, too. I'm trying to wash oil off this one. Oh, I think it's working. Come here. Yeah, you're looking better. Look at you. Oh. Okay, you're almost ready to go and live your life. Let's hope you're not gonna get into another trap. He's still sitting around, so I'm like, okay, you're my new little friend now. <laughs> I'm getting some sprouts. <laughs> it's gonna be probably only like a dollar and a half, two dollars. And I don't even need to sprout anything myself. Everything for uh, about dollar thirty, <laughs> and this would be about fifteen dollars somewhere in a health food store <laughs> in America. So cute! The man and his dog are napping. I find it very interesting when I see little um, temples like this to, I guess I would call it temple, to Jesus. Well, there is a wheelchair too, so maybe someone got healed. For a second I thought it just kind of like a room for confessions, but it's not even a full door. So nice to see, praise you my Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It says it's a uh, shop number 59. So I guess sometimes he's open. So I talked a little bit to this man. He's hard of hearing. And uh, he told me this cross also lights up in the evening. He has a, a solar panel. And he told me he was born in this house 92 years ago. He's 92. Oh, very interesting story <laughs> behind this house. It's so different from any other houses in the neighborhood. I am out of cat food. Oh, junior, so, uh, junior, junior is fine. Uh, just, oh, do you have a big one? No, I don't have a large one. Yes, yes, yellow one is good. And four more for uh, the cat one. Oh my goodness, what is this place? Wow, is it like a flower or something chemical? The guy saw me videotaping and he went behind this thing. Look at his feet. Oh, speaking of feet. <laughs> So is he making something out of sugar? Um, this is a newspaper stand. Newspaper and magazine. The easiest way to take the skin off. <laughs> I've been here videotaping and um, now I feel like I have to buy something. But good thing he's preparing chicken for her, maybe? No? What is she waiting for? Um. Oh, okay. She was waiting only for the white part without the bone. Oh my gosh. I think it's actually has still spasms. Okay, this is really creepy. Mm, looks like this guy here will get the spasming. Very fresh chicken. <laughs> Very fresh. And they usually ask um, how big the pieces can be. Uh, really? <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I am trying to videotape here. <laughs> and they usually.
only ask um, how big pieces do you want, like uh, large or medium. I gave this dog some food, but cat is eating it. <laughs> Oh, okay, yes, 200 rupees. Yeah, that's fine, yes, perfect. Uh, but anyway, that's funny. Either dog is not hungry or he likes just chicken and he wanted some TLC. Well, I ended up... Hi! <laughs> that's the lady that takes care of uh, the room I'm in. Anyways, I ended up uh, with some gizzards. <laughs> For 200 rupees, that's uh, three dollars. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Even After buying some gizzards, now I'm trying to get home through this groom procession. This is a fancy one. And just down the street, I see another procession. So I started to wonder what are they gonna do when they meet each other. And this groom on the horse has only one umbrella. Usually a lot of locals come out and sit uh, by the side of the road and look at the processions and that's what I was doing with local women and kids. Sometimes they offer free food and drinks for people who are watching on the street and I am offered the beer. This is some serious drumming in the car. And that's when I was thinking, it's not loud enough. Imagine someone is asking this guy, so what do you do for a living? I am an umbrella holder. And in the meantime, some motorcycles and cars trying to get through. They have a lot of patience. Have to watch my step here. Now I am just trying to get through and it's not very easy.
had to feed the cats and then a couple of days later I had to spend some time in the hospital and actually I was uh, very impressed how clean and nice hospitals are in India.